Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to talk about the mining profitability for, I guess, essentially Ethereum as it has been pretty much the most profitable thing to mine for the past couple months now. And uh, everyone's been talking about it. A lot of people have been buying GPUs just to mine Ethereum. And of course, I've been making a lot of content regarding, you know, Ethereum and uh, Ethereum Classic as well. And uh, yeah, it correlates, I guess, to the aspect of everyone is looking at what is the most profitable coin to mine so here I am I'm gonna make this video because I have actually been making these for the past year uh, since uh, August of 2019 so this is where I generally find out how much a single uh, 6 by RX 580 rig at 180 mega hash is making at that time of recording so I've made tons of videos about this and I'm doing this because so that I can go back in history and as well for some people that want to look back you know in let's say February 7th of 2020 around there generally of how much was a RX 580 rig making during those times so this is not only for me but also for you guys as well for people that are curious to know how much a single rig like that was making back in November 2019 and uh, so on so I've been doing this every month or so and I'm actually doing it by the day I, I was doing it by like a whole month but you guys know that profitability changes all the time so now I'm doing it by the day and uh, just to get the general feeling of what the profitability is okay so guys if you guys want to check out my playlist link down below but you guys can also go to my playlists under my channel as well okay so before I begin talking about and showing you guys the profitability of how it is as of today uh, I'm just want to talk about quick that you know Google Trends it's a website here that aggregates the search terms for example I, I typed in here crypto mining and I just want to see generally you know how much interest is in people googling crypto mining or GPU mining or Bitcoin or Ethereum and they all correlated so I just stuck with crypto mining here but you guys can see this is back in 2017 2018 days here where crypto mining the search term was at like a hundred percent the highest interest over time at 100% during that time and you guys can probably guess why and that was when Bitcoin went up to 20k okay so that was really hyped up a lot of people were getting into mining uh, buying Bitcoin what have you Ethereum all that stuff and then of course it started to trickle down this is when the whole bear market thing came about uh, but here we are today so for the past couple months you guys can see actually a big rise up here I mean not as big as 2017 but you guys can see here 39% interest here this is between July and August and I know during this time was was when DeFi and the gas fees and transaction fees were really high and I, I do remember this time because I did make a video about this back in August regarding the profitability for GPU mining and specifically an RX 580 rig you guys can see here was making about ten dollars and ninety three cents a day if you had free electric after ten cents kilowatt hour you're making nine dollars and twenty cents that day on a single RX 580 80 rig and that was insane right that was insane but most of you guys who have been mining now for the past couple years or even for the past year you understand why why it's it was profitable during that time okay but going along now you can see the interest over time started going down and down and down uh, that is due to obviously the DeFi hype has died down so you know we're not seeing those block rewards uh, you know 8 ethereum 10 ethereum 15 sometimes 30 at one point and we're not getting those rewards anymore so profitability has been dying down and that correlates to you guys can see the interest uh, on Google Trends here so going along now the next month I want to show you guys here uh, just correlating just how profitability has been for the past couple months so this was back in August August 14th generally around nine to ten dollars a day now if we go to October 6th I did make another video and uh, you can see here profitability went down on a single RX 580 rig down to five dollars or three dollars and ten cents uh, after 10 cents kilowatt hour okay and then the let's see a couple weeks later you guys can see here the profitability did generally stay the same okay so about five dollars through or three dollars and forty cents after 10 cents kilowatt hour okay now I want to show you guys how the profitability is now as of making this video to 
today. And uh, yeah, so $5.26 on a single RX 580 rig, 180 mega hash and 780 watts, 10 cents kilowatt hour. And you guys can see here. And yeah, it's generally the same for the past month, even back in October, it was generally the same, you guys can see here. So yeah, that's that's the end of the video. No, no just kidding. I, I want to talk about a few more things, okay? So you guys can see what it is now. Everyone can just go to what to mine and see what the profitability is. And of course, disclaimer, I know that profitability changes all the time and you guys should know that because, you know, the next month, we're probably not going to see this same number here. So what is due to, you know, profitability? what makes it so that we can see these numbers here like this and a lot of things are involved in order to get this number the equilibrium and that consists of the network hash rate the network difficulty that's that's a big one as well as the price of the coin and as well as uh, your your cost per kilowatt hour because it takes in that calculation as well for your revenue into Bitcoin which is in which is calculated into fiat but you guys all know that all the altcoins everything is is pegged to Bitcoin so that's how it's getting the fiat numbers here in terms of Bitcoin you can trade your all, all these altcoins in into Bitcoin okay but anyways you guys generally know that the cryptocurrency markets have been going up in a general uptrend right now and Ethereum is at $465 as of making this video I think it hit like $500 maybe a couple days ago but also Bitcoin's also going up and up and up and you know Right now, it's it seems like things are on the up and up, right? But does this correlate to better profitability? Now, of course, this will all depend on the network hash rate, uh, the, the block rewards that we're getting right now, the transaction fees that people are willing to pay, and that was mainly due to DeFi. Uh, you guys probably remember Yearn or SushiSwap or Uniswap, <laughs> all that kind of stuff that was just really hyped up during August and a bit of September and here we are today it's it's kind of died down in that aspect but now I wanted to talk about um, Ethereum Classic I know that this video was mainly tied to you know just Ethereum but Ethereum Classic right now uh, it has also been at the top of the charts generally uh, in terms of profitability for uh, GPU miners right but there's there's something coming really soon and I've made plenty of videos about this and specifically uh, they're changing their algorithm and it's not really a big algorithm change and I'm not sure if ASICs are going to be able to mine uh, on this new ETC hash algorithm so that remains to be seen and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated but I feel like we have a lot of things coming really soon that's going to affect these numbers here okay so let me talk about first in order of what's to come okay so in a couple weeks or by December 2nd actually that's when they say the hard fork is gonna happen lowering the DAG from 390 to 195 and that is going to bring down the DAG size to about 2.5 gigabytes so three gigabyte cards are gonna be able to mine starting on December 2nd of 2020 and Again, I'll have another video about that for you guys, and it's going to happen on block 11,700,000. So that is a milestone you guys should should remember on December 2nd of this year, coming in a couple weeks now as of making this video. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, as well as uh, Ethereum, okay? So Ethereum as well, with the, their DAG size is also going up higher and higher as well. So that means the four gigabyte cards are going to be ending really soon and I believe it's going to be by the end of December around there or maybe the last or second last week of December. Uh, so four gigabyte cards are going to be just rendered useless on mining Ethereum. Now there is a mining software called Lull Miner, and I believe Phoenix Miner just implemented it as well. It's like a zombie mode where four gigabyte cards can mine past the four gigabyte DAG like a little bit longer, but you're losing some hash rate. But two months after that, I don't think the four gigabyte cards are going to be worth uh, mining on Ethereum after the zombie mode is finished, right? So those cards are most likely going to go to Ethereum Classic. So in the next two months or so, I think we're going to see a shift in like network difficulties, uh, a shift in network hash rates, and of course, profitability as well. I think once the four gigabyte cards are going to be kicked off by the end of end of this year and maybe another month or two after, that Ethereum is probably going to be one of the higher coins in terms, in terms of profitability, higher than Ethereum Classic. And I know that I, I would say the past couple, uh, past 
past couple of months that we've seen Ethereum Classic stay generally higher than Ethereum. But, you know, of course, Ethereum Classic had their 51% attacks and all that kind of stuff. And I know I, I'm really tying profitability here to these coins and I hate that I, I'm talking about it like this, but hey, I know that this is imperative to a lot of us here that have to pay their electrical bill. Okay, so just a little disclaimer there. I know a lot of people do this as a hobby. So do I. But, you know, the electrical bill is, is quite expensive and I do want to get like, you know, a decent return, uh, break even point on electricity. I've had some comments out there, people talking about, you know, most people do this as a hobby. You got to compare this to other hobbies. But realistically, <laughs> if you're doing this for a fi financial incentive in some form or fashion, then maybe so we can probably consider this as like a part time job because we're doing this for a financial aspect <laughs> in our lives. Anyways, I'm going off track here. I wanted to talk about so the network difficulty chart I just want to show you guys uh, it's pretty much in sync with here the network hash rate but the network hash rate you guys can see has been going up and up and up and as well as the difficulty chart for Ethereum so this pretty much just you know it correlates with the profitability because back in August or yeah beginning of or the end of July this is when DeFi really started to kick off I just want to bring this up to you guys right now just to give you guys some context here so <laughs> uh, let's see, July 30th, just say the end of July, okay? So this is where you guys can see the parabolic rise of DeFi uh, in terms of the value locked into DeFi, decentralized finance, pretty much correlates here to the Ethereum network difficulty chart because everyone and their dog was getting into GPU mining and I can definitely tell by the engagement of my of my YouTube channel the viewership uh, people were wanting to buy uh, graphic cards oh my Amazon affiliate was definitely uh, an indicator that people were really really buying 5700s and 5600 XTs and 5700 XTs for mining like thousands hundreds of you guys were buying graphic cards I'm actually thinking of doing like an Amazon video what did crypto miners buy in the past couple months or something I, I don't know I'm thinking about doing a video about that let me let me know what you guys think about that but you know it's huge right now the FOMOing in into crypto mining is definitely big and uh, this this you know the interest of Google Trends definitely shows uh, correlates with this little pump right here in terms of interest in the crypto mining so yeah a lot of people were buying GPUs during that time and uh, finally guys I want to talk about the difficulty bomb delay now this is another thing I, I am gonna make another video of just warning people of future things regarding ethereum so there there is another one EIP 1559 I forgot to bring it up here but that is supposed to apparently burn the trans transaction fees uh, for us miners so we would not be getting you know anything past two ethereum and i think i heard of them talk about also bringing the block reward down to one instead of two so <laughs> that would really 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 ruin the profitability for us gpu miners as of now of course and totally depends if ethereum uh, the price goes up and of course de depends on the difficulty all that kind of stuff equilibrium okay so back to the aspect of murray glacier the difficulty bomb delay so this was already implemented uh, like back in let's see the beginning of 2020 okay so beginning of 2020 EIP 2384 was already implemented and apparently this obviously it brought down the difficulty and uh, you guys can see here a big drop off but usually for some people that follow Ethereum uh, the difficulty bomb always activates every I think 12 months before so Constantinople Byzantium uh, those other hard forks here you guys can see just literally 12 months after each other they were being implemented because yeah obviously it was unprofitable to mine uh, the block times were really high I think like 20 seconds or something but now for Murray Glacier that was implemented it's no longer 12 months it's now I believe like almost two years less than two years for the difficulty bomb to be enabled again or called the ice age okay so it says this EIP proposes the delay difficulty bomb for another 4 million blocks or roughly 611 days days and I just want to skip over here the, the delay will be back to 20 second block times around July of 2021 now I'm not sure if this is gonna happen next year so that would be less than a year as of making this video uh, so if if Ethereum doesn't have anything in their roadmap to implement uh, or fix this, then <laughs> that would be uh, 
that would be pretty interesting if we would see another difficulty bomb uh, or difficulty rise and of, of course profitability would go down in the gutter in the next I don't know seven eight months if my max math is correct so for people getting into GPU mining right now <laughs> I hope some people can get their break-even point or return on investment before then if the ethereum developers don't work on a fix for this again and of course you guys know ethereum 2.0 is already on the works and of course going to happen around in the beginning of december of this year okay proof of stake all that kind of stuff but we do know that the proof of work won't be turned off after phase two which is about two to three years from now we don't really they didn't really give a uh, final uh, date for that but I'll keep you guys updated for sure. So yeah, EIP-1559, I forgot to mention they were thinking of implementing that in January, so literally in two months or so, but I don't think they will, but they were talking about it and possibly implementing it instead in July. So if that happens in July and we have the difficulty bomb being activated again, it's gonna, it's gonna really, really hurt the profitability for GPU miners in the next year, okay? Not two years, but in the next year. So anyways, guys, food for thought and uh, please let me know what you think about what I talked about in this video it's probably a long video for sure but I appreciate you all for watching let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out